power of knowledge can go a very long way. Look how far it has already carried us from our most basic quest for survival to our expanding reach into the universe. Today, our thirst for knowledge continues to propel us into new and uncharted frontiers. The high-skilled worlds of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Perhaps no other fields of study are as important to the future and success of our nation than these. Among the fastest growing career segments in the U.S. today, they require a highly specialized education and training, and education experts agree, the earlier the better. Well, in the fields of science, math, and, and engineering technology, um, we believe that students should start uh, early, uh, in high school if possible. Um, it can happen that, that, a, that, a, that a person doesn't really know much about engineering and then they decide to go into that field in college and maybe it works and maybe it doesn't. What we offer is an opportunity for students that have an aptitude and an interest in science and math to start engineering work while still in high school and it gives them a great chance to see if it's a field that they think they're interested in it also gives us a chance to see if it's a field that they have a good aptitude for we think it's a good it's a good win-win situation career and technical schools are paving the way for the new generation of engineers and scientists once thought of as schools only for traditional skilled trades vocational schools are offering students interested in math science and engineering technology unlimited possibilities before they even reach college. Career Academy School is usually a small high school with a distinct career theme. In our case it's engineering technology. And we have a competitive admissions process so that students with clearly identified aptitude in math and science come to us. We give them the opportunity to take engineering courses while they're still in high school, some of which are for college credit. And so at the end of their high school experience, they're very well positioned to move on and, and to go on to their uh, bachelor's degree program in engineering. Uh, but then again, they also learn that uh, if the field isn't exactly what they're looking for, we give them the opportunities to branch off into another area of science or technology other than engineering. So the, the bottom line is we give them a, a head start and a good chance to, to get started way in advance of where they would if they went to a comprehensive high school. One such school is the Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Technologies in Edison, New Jersey. As part of the Middlesex County Vocational and Technical Schools, the Academy is among the first New Jersey high school to specialize in engineering technologies. Driven by a rigorous college preparatory curriculum, the school focuses on producing the student who will, one day, become the well-rounded engineer. We uh, give every student a chance to work with uh, actual situations, uh, hands-on experience with technology and, and that's used in the business world. They learn how to manage their own time, they learn how to manage projects, they learn how to be team players and manage teams, uh, all at the same time with developing their skills and solving problems and creating new situations and being aware of paradigm changes. When students come here to the academy, their focus is engineering, that's why they've come to us. Beyond that, we have a responsibility to deal with the whole child, which incorporates athletics, health, the arts, and we offer a, a program that hits all of those needs. And I think when you talk to the students upon graduation, you'll find that they do believe that we've met all those needs and they are a very well-rounded person having spent four years with us. Well, both of my parents are actually engineers. So when I found out about this academy and how it was centered around math, science, and engineering, it was almost like a natural choice. Um, and while here, I really hope to further my knowledge about computer sciences, since that's something I wish to pursue in the future. And I think the school has really prepared me because the teachers here are people who have been in the field and know the ins and outs of what they're teaching. The Academy's on-campus location at Middlesex County College gives students the opportunity to attend actual college classes during the regular high school day, giving them a distinct edge when applying to and attending higher learning institutions. The Academy boasts a 100% college acceptance rate and its students have been accepted by all of the nation's Ivy League schools. I think the uniqueness of our program uh, affords the kids the opportunity to do things that they don't necessarily do in a regular high school. Now we do have 100% placement for all graduating classes in college. But I think the fact that the engineers 
that we have, and that are the heads of the career majors and a couple other instructors that we have, came out of business uh, and industry, and their expertise and experience has uh, allowed the kids to, um, I guess, get a flavor for what they're going to be facing in the next level. Senior year, we had a senior design project, which lasts the entire year, and um, basically we also have an engineering notebook journal that we document everything that goes on in the project. And recently, I landed a job just based on my lab journal. I went to an interview, uh, not having any lab experience, no research experience, no internship, just my coursework. And I showed them my lab journal and they absolutely loved it. And two weeks later, I got a job offer from them in my junior year of college. I think that the engineering program that was offered at the academy, uh, unlike any other um, that I've ever heard of in any high school anyway, uh, was instrumental in me becoming uh, going to school for engineering and then graduating with a, a degree in engineering and becoming a civil engineer. The Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Technologies unique project-based curriculum allows students the opportunity to explore all aspects of engineering technologies from both a theoretical and hands-on perspectives. When companies hire students right out of college, one of their complaints is problem-solving skills, a lack thereof. So what we are doing here at the Academy, we have taken the electronics, computer, engineering technologies curriculum, and not only do we provide the students with lectures on theory and concepts, we also provide hands-on activities, lab experimentation, all the way up to our senior project whereby students take a design from conception to realization. We believe that this is a good differentiator for our students to become successful in the future. My class inherited the Hovercraft project. Um, the three groups that um, went with the project were the structure team, the propulsion team, and the documentation team. The structure team was in charge of making the Hovercraft aerodynamic so that you know they wouldn't encounter wind resistance or anything. Um, the propulsion team, we used fans and um, leaf blowers and stuff like that to get it to move. The documentation team was in charge of project management and just keeping in contact with the groups so that everything um, went smoothly. They produced a video at the end of the year to show our work and they put together a book so that the future generations of Hovercraft could refer back to it. Recognized as one of America's best high schools in 2008, 2009, and 2010 by U.S. News and World Report, the Academy has steadily attracted more and more applicants each year since its inception in 2000. The increase in female students reflects a rise in more women entering the field of engineering technologies. As a female student, I applied to Middlesex County Academy because I wanted a school that would challenge me. I felt that I was not challenged in middle school in math and science, and I was actually really good at it. And this school affords me that option. I enjoy it here and I hope to use engineering to work for the Department of Defense, especially mechanical engineering, to work with airplanes and, and trains and, and cars and to make them environmentally friendly and still fast and, and safe. The 21st century poses many challenges and opportunities for those in the field of engineering and science. The Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Technologies plans to continue to help prepare today's youth and tomorrow's workforce. We have a comprehensive program in terms of we're not just teaching students about science and math and engineering, we're teaching whole students. And so we have a robust offering within our, our, our fairly uh, narrow focus of math, science, and engineering, but we have uh, interscholastic sports and we have clubs and activities. We try to emphasize citizenship and we try to emphasize teamwork. And we work in close partnership with industry because engineering, science, and technology is a rapidly evolving field. And so in order to make sure that our curriculum keeps pace with the rapid changes of the 21st century, we, we have a group of individuals that work in industry and in academia, and they get together regularly with us and, and review our curriculum and look at the project-based learning that's going on in our schools and they give us feedback and we use that feedback to refine and improve our curriculum so that we maintain that cutting edge and have our students ready to meet all the challenges of, of the coming years. 
To find out more about Middlesex Vocational and Technical Schools or the Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Technologies, please visit www.mcvts.net. We hope this program has been an inspiration to you and in all you hope to achieve. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and ideas changing the way we live. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr.